<laughs> Our next speaker wanted nothing more than to make a hidden bat cave in his forever home. But as it turns out, rolling around in bat guano nowadays is considered socially unacceptable. <clears throat> his next speech about the purpose of his home and meaning of family, please show your love for Toastmaster Nate Bell, giving the speech titled, Marks in My Soul. <clears throat> is to share a little bit about my life over the last few years. And we all hear the title, Marks in My Soul, and you're wondering, what left marks in this guy's soul? Well, it starts with a home purchase. My wife and I, my family, we were looking for a home a few years ago, and we settled on an area of Winter Park that, in my mind, is somewhat special because when you drive down the street, it's actually called Summerfield, there's this canopy of trees, it's like a green tunnel, it's beautiful, and I've only seen it a few times in certain places around the country. And to me it was one that was special because it sort of reminded me of times in my life when I was young, driving, and on my own, and just kind of feeling good and at peace. And so, I think as a family, we all wanted that, and I wanted that for our family. Our third house, it was like the perfect house. It was everything we wanted. It had the right number of bedrooms, the right amount of space. It had everything we wanted. Now, when you look at a new house or a house that you know was from the 60s, for us it was a house that was built in the 60s and it was kind of revamped a little bit. So to say it was perfect is not totally true, but it was pretty close. There was some lighting that needed to be changed out, but we could live with it. There was some paint in certain rooms that maybe wasn't my taste, but again, it wasn't bad, I could live with it. In fact, we sort of made changes over the years as we sort of had money or felt like, okay, we've stared at this long enough, let's change it, let's make it our own. To make a long story short, we bought the house. The seller accepted our offer, and when she did, I reminded her of something I saw in the house during our inspection, and that was this little area of the wall where the boys' heights were marked over the years. And you could just walk by and you could, you could see the pencil and the pen. It's almost like a movie played out in my mind of them growing up. And well, they weren't my kids. I didn't know them, I never even met them. I could sort of envision like this movie playing out of them begrudgingly on some days, maybe marking their height. And on other days, you know, I'm tall, I'm taller, you know, I'm just feeling good about it. And so it hit me in the heart a little bit because I knew I was going to probably paint over it. <laughs> <laughs> but I offered the seller, I, I said, hey, you know what? I'm willing to cut that section out of the wall and give it to you if you want. I immediately regretted making that offer because it was one more project added to my list of presents. <laughs> she was sweet. She said, Nate, you know what? It's okay. Don't worry about it. I don't want to trouble you with that. And so I was like, oh. <laughs> but then as I went in and out of that garage over the days and weeks, I I kind of, I don't know what the word is, I guess I, I just had a feeling about it. I was like, ah, oh, I wish this wasn't here because I started to understand what it meant. And that is, it's what every parent wants from their kids. It's what our parents wanted for us. And that is just to get a little bit older, get a little stronger, be healthy, be okay. And so... It was a shock when the owner called me and said, hey, Nate, I was wondering, I was wondering if you painted over that wall. And I said, no, I haven't. And she said, it's next. Well, we really like to have that because we just lost our son. No. That hit me like a ton of bricks because I have kids. It moves me today, this is genuine. And I said, yes, of course, whatever you want. I, if there's anything I could do to take away your pain, I'll do it. So this isn't the wall, but this looks pretty close to it. <laughs> One of these boys is gone. There's a brother who's missing his brother. There's a mother who's inconsolable. There's a father that doesn't have his activity partner anymore. And so anything I could do to try to make that right in some way, I, I would. Well, 
Um, I was at home when she came by to pick it up. I called her and I said, hey, you know, I've got the ball. And I said, did you or your husband want to come by and get it? And she said, well, my husband won't be able to handle it. And so that hurt because I thought, God, she's trying to be strong for him. She didn't want to be strong. But she had to be. Well, I wasn't there when she came to pick it up. My wife told me, she said, uh, the owner came by and picked up the ball. And I said, what did you say? She said, I couldn't say anything. She said, we just cried on the porch and hung each other. Mm-hmm. Again, I was relieved. I, was, I don't know if I could handle that. Fast forward the hands of time. It's been two years. There's no dark cloud over our house. If anything, it's a great place to live. It's There's a lot of love, a lot of, a lot of activity, a lot of just memories being made. And we've actually made some marks in another area of the house. <laughs> my oldest, my youngest, their heights are there. You'd be surprised to know my 13-year-old is about as tall as I am. So. <laughs> I'm a little jealous that I see him creeping up and going past me, <laughs> but I'm happy. And when I walk through that garage and I see that area of the wall that's been painted over, it's sterile, it's clean, the memory's gone. I won't forget the marks that those children made in my heart, in my soul, because it reminds me of something really important. Life is short. Life is a fleeting gift that can change in a heartbeat. And so we all need to remember this. We have loved ones. Tell them you love them. We have friends. Tell them how much they mean to you. Because they can be gone just like that. And I want to put a disclaimer out there. Life is a little complicated. On the way out, I gave my wife a refractory response. I slammed the door, we had an argument, and I feel like a fraud up here telling you guys how you need to be loving and caring and kind because sometimes we're not. And today, I'll be honest, I wouldn't. But I promise you, I'm going to try and bring it back positive because I do want to stay married. So thank you. <laughs>